Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you for coming. This is the giant pumpkin kahuna, Stuart Chimp. Here to talk to you today about how to grow a giant pumpkin. We do have a giant pumpkin growing contest, which the way off date is in October. You can do this. You listen to Stuart, you will succeed. Everybody welcome Stuart Chim, veteran of many pumpkin battles. <laughs> Thank you uh, very much for that uh, kind introduction and, and thank you all very much for attending uh, today's workshop. I also want to thank uh, Yamagamis for uh, hosting uh, today's event and also uh, uh, Kellogg Garden Products, the uh, makers of uh, Master Gardener uh, soil amendments as well, oh, oh, and also Gardener and Bloom and also the Dr. Earth line of uh, fertilizer products. This morning we are going to be embarking on an adventure that involves uh, history, uh, science, uh, horticulture, and uh, most important of all, uh, fun. Step one in growing a giant pumpkin is you want to select a sunny spot in your garden. Ideally, uh, you want to have 8 to 12 hours of sunlight per day and a relatively large growing area. Step two, you're going to dig a hole and it's going to be a relatively large hole. This is how deep it should be. Roughly three to four feet deep and roughly three to four feet wide would, would, would be very nice. And what you want to do is you're going to take all that soil, take it out and add some soil amendments. And the reason for that is pumpkins are very heavy feeders. And unless you have a, a, a garden that you're constantly amending, uh, adding mulch to it and also composting, you probably need to add a, a, a soil amendment to it. And I recommend 9 to 12 cubic feet. When should you start planting? Ideally for this, this part of California, probably mid-May is, is a good time to plant. And uh, it generally takes four to five days to germinate the seed. So for, for this group, you should probably be thinking about germinating your seeds, actually starting the soaking, around, around May 10th. You're going to take your seeds and you just soak them overnight in warm water. And what this is going to do is it's going to soften the outside of the, of the shell and it'll actually accelerate your germination time by a couple of days. And I suggest planting them in a peat pot. And you want to keep those seeds about 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And that will also help them. They like that heat and you'll see them sometimes germinate as quickly as 48 hours. After the seedling has developed its first true leaf, the first two leaves that come out are, are, are sort of round, they're the uh, cotyledons. Uh, then it's time to actually transplant your, your seedling into your mound. And you want to do this in the afternoon or early evening. Once you've planted your, your seedling in the mound, take a medium-sized cardboard box and place it over the seedling and flip open the top flaps. And the reason for that is we might get some freak weather, either uh, a little cold snap, uh, maybe a lot of rain. Where I am, uh, afternoon winds can be a problem. And this will just help the seedling establish itself. Now the, the fun starts to, starts to begin. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about the watering, fertilizing, and also general care. Pumpkins are about 90% water. Soil should be kept moist. And by moist, I mean, let's say you had a, a well-baked chocolate cake. That's what I mean by moist. So if you take a handful of the soil and you, and you just ball it up in your fist and you then release it, if it stays in a ball, it's probably a little bit too wet. If you open your hand up and the wind blows away the dirt, it's probably a little bit too dry. You just want to have it moist. And it may take a little bit of time to get the right amount of water. This is one of the areas you may want to experiment with again. Okay? And you can water daily, once every two to five days. And one of the things that is important is that your watering time should be consistent. I recommend 
watering in the early morning. The thing you want to do in terms of fertilizing is, uh, for starters, I recommend using an organic fertilizer. And uh, the reason for that is organic fertilizers work. Uh, there have been a lot of pumpkins grown since the late 80s to the present time, and these giant pumpkin growers, of course, are, are employing all sorts of different methods to grow bigger and bigger pumpkins. And after everything is said and done, the organic fertilizers are the ones that they're employing. My suggestion is you want to get a, a, either, a, a, either a, a liquid fertilizer, if that's what you prefer, or one of the dry fertilizers. I recommend putting down a mulch around the main stem and as, as far as, as you feel comfortable with, maybe four or five feet. And, and the reason for that is uh, mulching will help regulate the soil temperature. It'll also help uh, with the evaporation of the water so that the soil will keep more moist. And as you're applying the fertilizer, actually the mulch will help disperse the fertilizer in a more broad Before area. the pumpkin gets too big, you want to find a wooden pallet and put it underneath the pumpkin. And the reason for that is it'll prevent the, the, the bottom of the pumpkin from rotting. It'll allow air to circulate underneath the pumpkin itself. And very important, when it's time to move or transport the pumpkin, it's going to be a lot easier if it's already on a pallet. When it gets to be, oh, I would say, you know, 80, 100 pounds, come back to Yamagami's, get a, get a good sized piece of shade cloth, and you're going to shade the pumpkin, just the pumpkin itself. And, and the reason for that is, in the, late in the late summer, the skin will harden, and they're growing very, very quickly. And this way, the skin stays flexible and supple, so they don't develop cracks. Parting thoughts. And then we'll do the uh, door prize drawing. Childhood only lasts for a few years, but you can remain childish indefinitely. And if something is worth doing, then it's worth overdoing. So with those thoughts, I want to thank you very, very much for attending today. And the winner of the grand prize is Keith Baranowski. Yeah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. See you at the way off.